thank you for joining Waking Up With D, you guys. I have a haircut coming up really, really quick. I'm so excited. It's going to a new stylist, which I hope is gonna work out well. Um, I really want my hair dyed as well, but I gotta take this into phases because if I get it professionally done, that is a cost I don't know if I'm willing to spend right now and um yeah but I need my haircut because I'm not feeling I'm feeling low and when you get a haircut that can really boost your mood so if you want to do something nice for yourself if you're feeling low if your self-esteem is not quite where it's at I suggest snip snip snipping away get it dyed cut I don't know get a scalp treatment blow out anything you want to do braids like get something going on in your hair because it doesn't feel good to feel like down and out but a new haircut can really refresh it today i'm kind of feeling my hair i have little barrettes in it it's cute i feel like um but i'm just tired sick and tired of being down and out depressed not feeling great about myself so I'm gonna do something about it so excited though okay I'm really excited you guys okay you guys the house of pop is where I'm going so I'm hoping it'll be really really great I'll give you the beats after if my phone doesn't die. Whew, excuse me, it's down to the battery. But yeah. Yay. Okay, look at my new hair, you guys. Look at this cut. Look at the body, yaddy, yaddy on this hair. Ooh You see this, baby? like it and I had a really great stylist his name is Nick at the house of pop this is not sponsored but anytime you can help a good service worker out go ahead and help a good service worker out if you do if you are in the Spokane area and happen to go and make an appointment at the house of pop and if you also see Nick say Dara sent you um, but I'm gonna link below in the description box the House of Pop their website um I really like it he was such a cool dude like he was so fun to talk to um oh man <laughs> God was looking out for me this today when he like set me up with this dude you know cause this is a oh yes thank you Jesus and I got a blow pop on everything come on now Okay, I'm not going to look ridiculous with a sucker in my mouth. Okay, but you guys, I will see you guys later. I don't know if I'm going to film anything more today, but I wanted to show you that I was going to get my hair cut. I needed this in my life. Obviously, you can see that I've brightened my mood. Um, right now, I might go to the Apple Store to see if I can get my iPad fixed. And if I do, I'll film it if there's enough battery. Okay, you guys, I look way busted, but there is cute stuff in Target, so I wanted to show you guys. Look at these cute fall colors. Yes, see? Okay. Look at these fall colors. These fall colors. Okay, swimming suits. I don't need a purse. I'm not going there. Okay, you guys, I'm here to get a scale because I'm going to start on my weight loss journey. So let's see what scales they have. Yeah, we're going to buy an affordable scale. But I want a 
unintentional one. See, I like this color, but I like this style, how it like is curved on the edges. Damn, I really like that color. I'm getting the scale, yay! Okay, so I'm getting the scale and I'm using that to motivate me to start walking in the morning, get out of my apartment, move my body, and lose some weight. I took you guys into Walmart one time and I bought like a little facial hair groomer. Yeah, that shit doesn't work. So I have to buy one that actually works. It was like, took far too long in order to like groom what you needed. It, the way it was made, it's not effective, you know? So let's see what we can find. Ooh, let's look at some smell goods. We got your smell goods. We got your essential oil diffusers. Far more affordable than the one I purchased, but I still don't regret the one I purchased. I made a video on it a long time ago. I'll link the description in the box below. So this section, as you can imagine, smells divine. With all these candles, all these candles here. I would love to pick up a candle, but I've got some candles at home already. Ooh, personal care. This is where I need to be, people. Okay. So this is the hygiene section. Y'all know how I love the hygiene section. But I'm not here to, like, buy anything I don't need. Yes. I'm also here to get toilet paper and paper towels. Those are just a lot, though. That's a lot. I wish that was just, like, a six. A 12 pack. I'm get this up for you. So I'm getting those. Oh, there are smaller ones for a while. I like that brand. And, oh, there's a lot more brands here. Let's see the paper on the aisles. And I need paper towels. Kind of like the Viva. So I kind of like Viva paper towels because they do kind of feel like cloth. But today I don't want those. I'm thinking more generic brand or bounty. I just got wind that uh, I need my front and back brakes. <laughs> Look at all that paper towels. How many? Oh, yes. I like the ones, see, where you can, like, cut them into smaller sizes. I like those ones. Because I feel like I'm wasteful if I get the other ones. Oh, shit. Okay. You guys, I'm gonna get the facial groomer. Let's see where it is. Is it this way? Is it this way? Again, the section I love. So I'm not gonna linger here too long. Oh yes, what is this? Shapes. 
Ooh, I might want to get this. It shapes. But, like, it's actually a blade. Do you see? Like, a razor. Because I don't need these little weak-ass facial hair groomers. Or groomers that don't do anything. See, and it even shows, like, removing peach fuzz. Yes, I'm getting this. Thank you, Jesus. I am getting this. You guys are getting ripped off on notebooks. I didn't come soon enough before the school season started. So I'm getting college-ruled notebooks. I'm just a generic brand. They're 99 cents, so I'm wasting my money. Because when it's, like, back-to-school season, you pay, like, much less. However, I waited too long. Because I'm not all up in these stores like that, you know what I mean? Maybe you guys see the halls or whatever and think I'm up in these stores all the time. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not a shopper as a whole. I've become an online shopper, but that's about it. Looking for two greeting cards today, so I'm going to show you guys. So I need a congratulations card. And I need a condolence card. Congrats. I like this. I think it's fun. It's jolly. It screams congrats. And you know what else is screaming at me? My stomach. Which the little Halloween outfits are out. The little kitties. Look at this. This is so cute. That's cute. 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 Oh, that's another one that's cute. Same one now. That's even cute. See? Never a shortage. Oh, that's Jojo Siwa. Damn, she's rich. Okay, I'm gonna unload my stuff. I'm a writer, y'all. I always write a bunch of stuff. So I need a bunch of notebooks. These little cards. Ooh, my scale. I'm excited. Okay. I've got everything. That is everything. Here's what I'm getting. I'm going to the car. I bought my stuff. The cost totals an amount where I need a rich husband or wife. I do not discriminate. Hey. So yeah, I need a rich spouse up in here to afford a Target run. There's not even that much, but um, I got the news earlier this morning that my brakes, both the front and rear, are really bad. 
basically it's metal to metal <laughs> so I need to get that um, repaired real quick and yeah, I need to really get that repaired real quick I might get a second opinion because the quote that was given to me was just like obscene today I'm just going to go get some Mexican food. It's Sunday and it's already evening time. I spent hours trying to just motivate myself to get productive and this is the finished product. Um, but it took a long time to like pump myself up and so I know that many of you guys have heard this probably before but like when you see people like whether it's a co-worker a friend a family member um if you're a teacher like a student of yours whatever the case is um like we have no idea what someone's been through like just prior to you seeing them you know what I mean and like I feel like I'm keenly aware of it because of depression and anxiety um, because like <laughs> it sucks that this is my reality right now but it's just the truth that like going to the grocery store is like an accomplishment for me <sighs> that sucks but that is the truth sometimes and I know that other people deal with that okay because we just have to put one foot in front of the other so today what I'm doing is taking my car to get the rear brakes completely brand new or replaced I guess you should say I obviously am not in my full glam um, <laughs> yeah so obviously not my full glam because I'm in a hurry my stomach I don't know why it started hurting and um so I was just kind of taking it easy and slowly getting ready after I took a shower but so I'm gonna be like right on time <laughs> but that's okay and I brought a ton of stuff to do with me while I am waiting to get my brakes fixed um, First of all, <clears throat> it's a Saturday, but, and the noise you can hear, I have the window open a little because it is hot. I think this noise might be a little bit better than the air conditioner noise, hopefully for you guys. I'm bringing a lot of stuff to do. So like my friend and I want to get a hydrofacial, which is like a very specific facial. At this moment, <laughs> I can't describe to you exactly what it does. But from my understanding, it's a little bit more intense than just a facial. I've never had a facial before, so um, I'm just excited to get one. So I'm doing a price check um, on, the, on different places in Spokane that offer them. There's one place that lists the price, and I like when the website lists the price. So of course, you know, the places want you to call in so that they can um, try to upsell you or whatever. But, um, someone's having a yard sale. My little sister and I were supposed to have a yard sale this weekend, but it was a no-go. And I have stuff to get rid of, so I'm just going to be offering it. I have, like, some plus-size clothing that is either, there's one brand new skirt, it's very nice. There's other gently worn clothing I'm just going to get rid of, so, like, I belong on, like, a group. And I'm just gonna, yeah, offer it up to people if, oh, that person's here so loud. So I'm just gonna offer it up to people and see if they want it because, like, for one, plus size clothing usually costs more. And sometimes it can be hard to find, like, cute stuff, especially reasonable prices, you know? So I'm just gonna give that away probably. I mean, if it wasn't COVID, I would try to sell a brand new skirt, to be honest with you, because the tag is still on it and whatever. But I don't want to mess around with it. It's COVID, you know what I mean? So, um, going back to what I was saying, I brought stuff to do. So, the one price for the hydrofacial that was listed 
was expensive. So if it's all gonna be in that high price range, my friend and I are probably just gonna get like a, a regular facial, which of course is gonna be amazing, right? I mean, I'm not gonna be complaining about any of it. Um, so yeah, that'll be fun. I definitely need to make those calls. I know that some of the places are open on Saturday, some might not be, but we're gonna check. Anyways, I hope you guys are doing well. So you guys see, I'm getting my brakes done. They've always done good work for me before the tire stuff. I don't know if I've ever had my brakes done here before, but I'm excited. Leon's birthday was in August, but in, um, your birthday, you had a lot of fun. You went to Disneyland. Yeah, and, and, to, and then Avengers Disneyland. Avengers, you saw Avengers at Disneyland? Yeah, and that, and, and the, the, um, there was a surprise in the tent, because there was this headquarters, like, for, for Avengers, like, you know, in, in a real life movie. So there were those five things, and then there were, like, real life people. Oh, you were the ride, the rides that you went on? This one. One of the rides? That's cool though. Because you love Avengers. Yeah. Yeah. And so August was so busy, and then by the time you guys got back from vacation, um, the months just flew by. So I'm giving you your birthday presents now. Well, no, I, I have your birthday present. I couldn't, I had a really great birthday card for you, but I can't find the birthday card. And so once I, I hope I still have it because it was such a good card for you. And if I do find it, I'll give it to you, you know. But, um, but no, I always had those. I just was waiting so we could see each other, you know, to give it to you. And before, we're just waiting for her mom to come so that she, her mom can see all the opening of the presents. Okay, so whenever you want, you can open your friends and then just hold them up and show what they are. Just because right now it only shows like this much. So yeah. Okay. And I just have to open it to see where it is. I think you have all you know. Yes, I do. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna open this little guy right here. tote bag. Do you know what this she's um Cinderella. She's a native Cinderella. So she's a native Cinderella. This art was done by someone from the same tribe that like you're from, the Yakima tribe. Yeah, so she's Cinderella. Look at she has a bird and everything like Cinderella did. You see how beautiful she is? And you see the little mouse at the bottom? And at the end, I'll tell you guys a little bit more about the company. But I bought this because you know how you go, if you go places, say you go to the library and you want to get a bunch of books, you can put them in here. Or say if you take piano lessons, you can put your books in here. Or just a lot of things, you know what I mean? Or, or paper, or notes. Yeah, notes, paper, a lot of stuff. I'll set it right down there, okay? Okay, I'll right. put my next one. Okay.
So I, she loved unicorns, and this is really a makeup bag that, that came from Bath and Body Works. But I thought even if she wanted to take it in her backpack to school, you could if you wanted to put pencils or something in it. Well, pencils might not fit, but. Oh, or pencils. You want me to take the tag on? Yeah, you could put a little box of crayons in there. Yep, so the little unicorn. Do you know what that is? No. You don't have to only tell you, okay? So, okay, the other day, well, a few weeks ago, you mentioned Rapunzel. Do you remember? Yeah, with the long hair. Yeah, this is Rapunzel. It's a painting of Rapunzel. She's native Rapunzel. Isn't she cool? Look at her long hair. Well, not in the story, but there can be all kinds of different Rapunzels. But I thought, isn't she so beautiful, her long hair? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, good job. And that's the ovaries. Okay. But so I bought that painting in this bag. It's from the same artist from the same reservation we're from, the Yakima Reservation. And the company's called Native Anthro. And he sells all kinds of merchandise that's super cool. He's the artist. He does leather work, paintings, t-shirts, all kinds of things. And um, when she mentioned Rapunzel and then I went to his website, I was like, oh my god, I have to get her this. So see, it's a real thin painting, but you can use this as the back and you can put it in a frame if you want when your mom wants to. Dang it, I should have had to keep it in here to protect it. It's okay. Do you like it? What do you think? Good. Good, so. Thank you, Dad. Oh, you're sweet. I love you, babies. You won't come. So, I'll, in the description box below, I'll put Native Anthro's link. But yeah, I wanted just to do this on camera because I thought, hey, why not? It's fun. You guys already know me on the Star of the Grinch and Family Channel. <laughs> so, any last words you want to say to the people? You want me to say no? Okay, Anna wants me to say her key phrase. Thanks for watching. Bye. I don't know why she's hiding now. Okay, so that's, I want to show that up close, that's Native Rapunzel, okay, and then here's another, the other present, you want to hold that up, that is Cinderella, Native Cinderella, tote bag, and then your unicorn bag. <laughs> I'm glad you like it, Anna. If you've watched this whole video, OMG, thank you so very much for taking your time to watch me. Please comment down below the gift emoji hashtag gift. Also, if you have not yet subscribed, what you waiting for? Make sure you hit that subscribe button. While you're at it, hit that notification bell so every time I upload, you are notified. Make sure you like the video. For everyone who's already a subscriber, thank you so very much. We've had some new subscribers recently. Welcome to this channel and I hope you're enjoying it. And last but definitely not least, there's only one you, so don't forget to take care of you. Bye, you guys.